This morning we're going to walk into Brecon. All right, so what did he say? Exit by the main entrance. And walk down the lane that runs between the site and the main road. It's a bus stop there. Yeah. Yeah, just about see the sign. <laughs> yeah. Past the to Brecon. Yeah. yeah. Pointing to the right. Yeah, that's the way, Pops. Oh. Yeah. No, I think cross here, don't you? Actually, two dual carriageways you've got to cross, I think. Yeah. Safely cross those two. It's a bit of a windy day. No, which way now then? Yeah, it says Brecon there. What? Go and follow this. It's yeah. Brecon, doesn't Down it? some steps, yeah, Down and there's the canal. He's going to trip up the cyclists, aren't you, pups? There we are, there's the canal. Gradually getting quieter as I get away from the road and get some of the scenery. Sheep, Poppy. Come on, don't stick your nose through there. No sheep. Starting to find the, the houses now as we, as we get into Brecon. And as you can see, Pop is much better today. Time. Yeah, trotting ahead. I walked to Brecon ba Basin. There's actually two ways to go here. So I think we'll carry on with the canal for now. Road. That's what? That, that just seems to lead to that lane. Okay, and it looks like that's where some of the agricultural shows are held over there. And it looks like there were some lime kilns here in 1830. Th thriving hub of industrial activity, limestone coal were brought here by canal and barge and barrowed to storage areas before been discharged in the top of the kilns in layers. Took a day to load, three to burn, two to cool down and another day to unload the quick line. Yeah, I think it's the only evidence there isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Something about the old tramway isn't it? Longest railway in the world. Wow. Now linked Brecon to the industrial South Wales and the docks at Newport, the tramway carried goods to Hay on Wine connected with the Kington tram Tramway in Hereford. The line length of 36 miles made them the longest railway network in the world. At that time. At that time. <laughs> yeah, steam engines hadn't yet caught on. So it was built for horsepower. Yeah. So it looked a bit like that. Yeah. I, think, I don't think the horses look like that. Oh, it's a man, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see that the, the rails are quite different, aren't they? There's some rules there. Some what? Rules? rules yeah, walking the line, the tramway company has strict rules and fine for drivers who broke them. A 20 shilling fine would have been worth about £500 those days. Wow. Half each fine went to the informant, so you, you found out where you, who your friends were. Yeah, so five shillings of you riding on the wagons. Travelling faster than walking pace, 10 shillings. Driving a train outside standard hours, 20 shillings. And driving it on Sunday, another 20 shillings. shillings. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So you mustn't, mustn't do that. No, that picture. Mustn't <laughs> sit on the wagon and ride on the lines. No riding furiously. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily I didn't lose it. 
<laughs> she won't come with me because she will go in that way. We were off. We were off, yeah. You can obviously hire bikes here. Uh, bikes. Boats. You can obviously hire boats here, can't you? Yeah, according to that, we're on the Taff Trail. Okay. Reckon RFC. Playing fields, no dogs allowed. This was a busy little place in 1850, wasn't it? Yeah. Another little arch over there, isn't there? Yeah, so you said it would have been a hive of activities, coal and lime were loaded onto the trams. And the Watton Wharf was one of the seven in Brecon. It uh, relied on the canals for deliveries of timber farm and beer. You see across there there's another arch and that's where the tramway would have gone under. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite good isn't it? It is, isn't it? Looks like a castle in the background. Little canal side flats and everything, aren't there? The bikes come in. And we're into the basin. So we're on the Monmouthshire and Brecon Canal, voted Britain's prettiest canal. Okay. We joined it about there, didn't we? Somewhere down there. Yeah. Yeah, by the 470. And we walked along and we're somewhere around here on my canal road. Yeah. Sorry, somewhere around here. No. Yeah. Okay. Just had a pit stop, haven't we? <coughs> Bobby wants to get going now. <coughs> go on then, off you go. <coughs> go on, making a noise. in a row. <laughs> Poppy thinks we should take a cruise. Come on, we're up here, Poppy. <laughs> Interesting building there, isn't there? There it is. Yeah, we just just turn right and we're into the uh, into the town. And there's the museum. Come on. Those useful sort of looking hardware stores you don't see very often. The statue of Duke of Wellington there in front of the... Uh... Oh, we're heading towards the castle now. Not a bad view is it? I think it's a hotel, but uh, we'll have a look. I think we really wanted to look for the cathedral. It says the cathedral's down there, so we'll get it that one. It was built by the Norman Lord Bernard de Neufmarches in 10, oh, 1093 and was frequently assaulted by the Welsh in the 13th and 15th century. The castle's ownership changed numerous times. It began falling into ruin when Henry VIII executed the last Dukes of Buckingham, who actually controlled the castle at the time. Parts of it were renovated and made a hotel in the early 19th century. So you can't go in the castle? No, so that obviously the walls were That's part all. of the original right, castle. Right, okay. And it's now a hotel. So no castle? No castle, unless you go in that okay. stay in the hotel. Cathedral then? Yeah, which is that one. Okay. Right, I think we found the entrance. The Cathedral Church of St. John the Evangelist. A bit quieter up here.
bell ringing rooms up there. Who that is? Who the body of Martha, the wife of Charles Hen Henry of this town? So because of the characteristic round shape of its churchyard, right. it's thought to be on the site of an earlier Celtic church, of which okay. no trace remains. Right. A new church dedicated to St John, and we saw it on the way in, didn't we? Yeah. Was built, built on the orders of Bernard de, de la New March, who we new met March. at the castle, yeah. the, castle yeah. the Norman knight who conquered the kingdom in 1093. Right. He gave the church to one of his followers, Roger, a monk from Battle Abbey, who founded a priory on the site as a daughter's house of battle. First prior at Be uh, Breckham was Walter, another monk from battle. Okay. Okay, so when Bernard de Neufmont died, it passed to the Earls of Hereford. Okay. And Jury, yeah, and then just carries on. There's a priory. It's a grade one listed building. You're going to have a look inside? It is worth a visit, definitely. <laughs> Tara's just waiting very patiently for Jenny to come back. Now the other one's wandering about, aren't you? Come and lie down, Poppy. Nice bit of sun there. just found out that dogs are allowed in. Only well-behaved dogs though, Tara. <laughs> like <Yeah. cats>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> there we go. So where's this uh, stone you were saying about? Right yeah, we both sit, sit out, sat outside, didn't we, and uh, yeah. waited for the other one to go around. And, uh, one of the clergy went past and said, oh, dogs are allowed. He was actually the dean. Oh, is he a dean? Yeah. Okay. So what oh. are we looking at then? Here. Right. So what's this then? It's the sharpening stone. Oh, okay. It says, Henry V was helped at the Battle of Agincourt in 1415 by Cord Wainers. From Breck. Cordwainers, yeah, from Brecknock. They were his archers and, and the stone was used for sharpening their arrows. Alright, okay. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fabulous place. It's very quiet as well, isn't it? I mean, it we've is. been to other cathedrals and they're you know, packed inside, but so peaceful in here. Very nice here. There's a massive tower, but I'm not sure you can go up it. It's said above the choir, that's where the tower is. 
yeah. And That's there's a room up there where the, the bell ringing room is. Mm. Come on, girls. Right, wreck the place. There's the organ. But no, don't need you going up there. Let's see. It was saying here there was a screen, so presumably that door was something to do with it, wasn't it? Yeah. The screen would have been across here. Yeah, because another door over there. Yeah. yeah. what it looked like in the 15th century. A carved wooden screen on top of which stood the golden rood. All that remains today are the stone blocks and corbels which supported the screen, which are up there. Yeah, it says pilgrims would have walked some, along the gallery to touch the golden rood and to pray. Yeah. Looks like the gallery there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wondering what this is. Well, it's called a cress the Cresset Stone and it was actually filled with candles to light the way for the monks. It's the only one known in Wales. Wow. And all I've got left. It was very nice too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just a cheese sandwich. A big side thing, cheese, a cheese sandwich and a pot of tea. And a begging dog. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, it's a nice little cafe there. Very nice. Well, that was very nice, very pleasant map of the town here. I just, <laughs> just noticed that. <laughs> Might be able to find our way back. <laughs> yeah, there's a canal road down there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're up. That's Castle Square, isn't it? That's where the hotel is. Market Hall. Uh, Christ College there. Oh, we're up, we're up there. We're up there, aren't we? Right. Yeah, right. So we need to walk down Boston Market Street, Ship Street, down to there. Off we go again. Right, that's it for today. I really enjoyed that. Feet are a bit sore. I think it's the most walking we've done for a while. Right. Oh, right back here. <laughs> most walking we've done for a, quite a while, isn't it? Yeah. Wind's dropped now though. Yeah, nice and calm now. Bit yeah. sultry, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, well, Poppy's obviously back on form. Yeah. <laughs> Way Miles ahead. There. Yeah, it's, a re it's the canal, Poppy. Yeah, it's water. <laughs> yeah, so if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, hit that notifications icon, and we'll catch up with you soon.